you? Hope you're doing okay. Um, let's do some exercises. Can you do some exercise for me? Do you know how to do some jumping jacks? Can you do some jumping jacks? Or some push-ups and some sit-ups. Are you fit? Can you show me your muscles? Can you show me how fit you are? Well, today's lesson is about a strong man that was fit. Oh, I forgot to um, talk about Sing With Joy. And today's Sing With Joy is, um, he's a great big God, a helper I will be, for health and strength, and do for other people. And you can find those on YouTube. Well, let's go over um, last week's um, memory verse. Um, and I think I messed it up on the video, but I did send it in, um, in your lessons. Um, but it's with Gideon, God saved Israel. Um, with Gideon, with Gideon's 300 men, God saved Israel. Judges 7-7. Seven, seven. My little helper messed up. Oh, well. With Gideon, 300 men, God saved Israel. Judges 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay. All right. So, back to the strong man. So, this man's name is Samson. Can you say Samson? Okay. So let's get comfortable in our chair and let's learn about, let's hear about the story about the strong man. Okay, and this Bible story comes out of Judges 13, 16. Judges 13 through 16. The Philistines were mean. They made God's people serve them for many years. One day, the angel of the Lord said to a man and his wife, God will give you a baby boy. He will do God's special work. Make sure never to cut his hair. He will rescue God's people from the Philistines. Their boy was named Samson. As he grew up, everyone knew what God had given Samson a gift of amazing strength. One time, Samson was walking along the road. A hungry lion roared and ran towards him. But God's spirit strengthened Samson. He killed that lion with his bare hands. Another time, Samson was tied up with two strong ropes. The Philistines were all around Samson. They wanted to kill him. But God's spirit strengthened Samson. He broke the ropes and used his great strength to get away. Another time, the Philistines found out that Samson was staying in, inside the city. They locked the gates so Samson couldn't get out. But God's spirit strengthened Samson. He grabbed the city gates and tore them loose. Samson carried the gates on his shoulder to the top of the hill and many miles away. One time, a woman named Delilah cut Samson's hair while he was sleeping. Now Samson's great strength was gone. The Philistines tied Samson up and Samson couldn't break the ropes. The Philistines put him in prison. They made Samson work very hard. The Philistines were mean to Samson and made fun of him. But the Lord remembered Samson. While he was in prison, Samson's hair grew longer and longer. One day, the Philistine leaders celebrated their victory over Samson and over God's people. Many Philistines gathered inside a big building with tall columns. More Philistines were on the roof of the building. They brought Samson out of the prison and made fun of him. Samson prayed, Dear Lord, please give me great strength just one more time. God's Spirit strengthened Samson. He put his right hand on one of the big columns that held up the building 
He put his left hand on another big column. Then Samson pushed his knife. The building came crashing down on the surprise the Philistine. From that day, everyone remembered the special gift of strength that the Lord had given to Samson. He used his gift of strength to help free God's people from the Philistines. All right. So God made Samson very, very strong. One time, Samson killed a hungry lion with his bare hands. But when Samson dis disobeyed the Lord, he lost his great strength. The Philistine threw Samson in jail. One day, many Philistine leaders had a big celebration. At the party, they made fun of, of blind Samson. Please, Lord, Samson prayed, make me strong just one more time. God's Spirit came upon him. Samson pushed all with his might against two giant stone pillars. The whole building came crashing down on the Philistines. Okay. So let's do the talking snack. So what special gift did God give to Samson? What special gift did God give to Samson? And how did Samson use his special strength when a lion attacked him? When he was tied up? And when he was locked inside the city? Do you remember what happened? And where did the Philistine put Samson when his great strength was gone? How did Samson make the big building fall down? How did he make the big building fall down? Okay. So, if you want to pause the video and color your Samson, you're welcome to. All right, the next thing that we're going to do is our strong man and our stickers. We've got, we've got, the, it looks like maybe a mean Delilah and a little barbershop thing and a mean lion. And then we've got a man with a drink. And so you just put, put them where you think they should go. And you can pause the video to do that if you want. Okay, so our next one is going to be our disciple story. And this story is called The Zoo. The Zoo. The Zoo. So let's sit back in our chair and listen with our ears. Here we go. Mom, Dee shouted as she entered the house after school. Next week, my class is going on a field trip to the zoo. Dee's dog, Chip, ran to the door and barked, wondering about the excitement. Dee's mom came to the door to meet Dee, too. This is exciting, Dee, answered Mrs. Morgan. You haven't been to the zoo in a very long time. Yeah, I've never been to the zoo with my class, Dee, as she nodded. Miss Raymond says that we're going to draw a picture of animals and learn about them. That sounds wonderful, Dee, Miss Morgan said. I'm sure you'll have lots of fun with the other kids. Yeah, it will be great. Dee paused for a moment and said, Mom, would you like to go with us to the zoo? Me, asked Miss Morgan. Dee nodded. Yeah, Miss Raymond told us that she needed three parents to volunteer as helpers. I was sure you'd like to be a parent helper. That sounds great, Dee, Miss Morgan answered. I'd love to go. What's, what day next week is the field trip? Um, Wednesday? Oh no, gasped Dee's mom. I teach a women's Bible study on Wednesday mornings. Bible study, Dee wondered. Well, can you just cancel it or something? I don't think so, Dee, Miss Morgan said, shaking her head. I'm sorry, but I can't come to the zoo with your class. But Mom, Dee cried, it wouldn't be so much more fun if you were there. Dee sniffed and wiped her tears off her cheeks. Why is it so important that you teach Bible study? 
That's a very good question, Dee, answered her mom. The Bible study is important for me. It's a time during the week when I can talk with my friends about God. I don't get many chances to do that. So my Bible study is a very special time for me. And the women in the study are counting on me to lead. I guess, Dee said as she shrugged. The other important reason is a special gift. Dee interrupted. A gift? You give presents at your Bible study? No, Dee, her mom chuckled. It's not a present. It's a special gift that God has given to me. Wow, Dee gasped. God gives away presents at your Bible study? Dee, let me finish. God has given me a special gift. He made me a good teacher. That's why I teach at our Bible study. And that's why I used, used to teach in a school. If I didn't teach, I wouldn't be use, using the gift that God gave me. God gives us gifts so that we can help others, Miss Morgan explained. Oh, said Dee. Mom, has God given me any special gifts? Miss Morgan smiled. Dee, God has given you several gifts. You are very, very special. There is no one else like you on the whole planet. One gift that God has given you is encouragement. In what? Encouragement. Do you remember when Cy got sick and was sad that he couldn't play outside? asked Miss Morgan. Yes, I remember, Dee answered. You made him cards and drew him pictures and played games with him so that he wouldn't be sad anymore. You went to his house every day until he got better. That's a gift from God. Wonder D. Hmm. Yes, nodded her mom. As you used your gift of encouragement to encourage someone else, she smiled. Now, are you sad that I can't go to the zoo? D shook her head. No way, Mom. You should teach your Bible study and use the gift God gave you to help others. Miss Morgan laughed. Dee, that's a great idea. All right, that was a great story. All right, let's do the thinking chair and it says, why was Dee excited after school? Why was Dee excited after school? What did Dee ask her mom? What did Dee ask her mom? Why couldn't Miss Morgan go on the field trip? Why couldn't Miss Morgan go on the field trip? Why was it important that Miss Morgan teach at her Bible study? Why was it important that Miss Morgan teach at her Bible study? Okay. Now let's get our sheet that says the zoo trip. It says D. Dee's mom used the special gift that God has given her. Dee's class was going on a field trip to the zoo. What is your favorite animal at the zoo? What is your favorite animal at the zoo? She asked her mom to be a parent helper on the trip. Would you like your mom or dad to help on a field trip? Miss Morgan couldn't go on the field trip because she was leading a Bible study. Where would you like to go on a field trip? Dee learned that God had given her mom the gift of being a good teacher to help others. Who do you know who is a good teacher? Okay. All right, so let's turn back and it says serving others. Serving others, it says fine and color people who are serving others and using their gifts God has given them. We all have gifts that God has given us. Did you know that? So we have a little boy right here pulling a little girl in a wagon that has a hurt foot. And then we have someone right here who's pushing a little girl on a swing. And then we have somebody who's giving someone a book. And then we have someone that looks like they're babysitting. All right. Okay. So, um, there is an activity on your um, 
learn by doing. Um, but I'm going to let you guys, let your parents handle that. So you can choose the activity on there that you guys want to do with your parents. And um, we've got one more one more lesson and then um then we're going to um, take a break and we are going to find out what we're going to do for the rest of this time i think that there i'm not sure when the new classes will start but we will let you know as soon as we find out so hang in there and um, as soon as i find out something i'll let you guys know but just remember to let me know about your chore charts and I'll be getting your prizes here soon. And you guys have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.